We're going to start with the main pack. I have a short back Bergen that's approximately 80 liters in size. I have a three liter water bladder for going inside of it. Next to that, I have a five by seven camo netting. Next to that, I have a GI green patrol bag with waterproof breathable bivy sack. And then with that, I have a closed cell foam sleeping pad that doubles as a shooter's mat. Work back way over here. We have a hygiene kit that has foot powder on it, um, powder for your twigs and berries. I have um, first, oid first aid ointment in there, sunscreen, bug spray, um, and sanitizer. Next to that, I have my comms kit. Inside my comms kit, there is a roll-up J-pole antenna. There's an external mic to it and earbuds to go with that. Next to that, I have my um, socks, three dry pairs of wool. I have a spare pair of synthetic underwear. I have a pair of Gore-Tex Oversocks, and all that is kept inside a dry sack. Coming down, I have my warm kit, which includes a lightweight fleece vest and a full zip-up whoopie hoobie, or um, hoodie whoobie, or whoopie hoodie, you can call it. Um, it's oversized to fit over all of my layers, and that itself is also kept in a dry sack. Next to that, I have my spare ammunition. We have one, two, three, four, five, six spare a AR mags that are kept inside an older GI butt pack that is kept inside the main pack. Wearing on my head is a camouflaged boonie hat. We have two spare liters of water that are kept inside the main pack with the three liter water bladder. That is my reserve. Next to that, well, first and foremost, on top of underneath everything, I have a 7x9 DPM Basha tarp. To go along with that, I have four bungees, I have several tent pegs, and then a ridgeline kit as well for helping with string that up and creating an OP. And all of that is kept inside separate stuff sacks. One stuff sack for the tarp and one stuff sack for the bungees, pegs, and ridgeline kit. Below that, this is the food that I keep in my pack. This is three days worth, or actually, I'm sorry, yeah, well, it's two and a half to three days worth of rations. I have oatmeal, uh, um, multiple different styles of granola bars. I have three SOS ration blocks. I have several things, or three things of um, uh, tuna creations. I have cup of soup for making brews. I have ramen noodle soup. I have some uh, to-go peanut butter cups that is great for dipping the granola bars into and then I have a brew kit here and all of that is just different kinds of lemonade and tea mixes and coffees. Next to that wearing on my body I would have a a neck gaiter that's synthetic and my field gloves and then in um, in with my kit I would have a synthetic balaclava as well. On my face I'll have my safety glasses on Let's see. I think that's everything that's in the main pack. So let's move on to the LBE. My LBE is the Smirsh um, AK rig. In that, and this is, I'm just going to work from left to right. So starting on the left, I have three things of smoke. I have one black, one red, one green. Three loaded AR magazines that go in that pouch. Next to that, in the next magazine pouch, I have my radio, which for the purpose of the exercise would be a Prick 152. Next to that, I have a water bottle holder, which has a one liter Nalgene with a stainless steel nesting mug. And then on the outside pouch of that, I have an Esbit stove with several fuel tabs in it, along with a lighter and then a small brew kit for um, instant coffee and then a spork is kept in that as well. In the butt pack, or I'm sorry, behind that then is my field knife. It's just a copy of an SC3. Uh, 
and then I have Ranger beads hanging off of the shoulder strap. In the butt pack for those contents, we have a poncho. We have a steak and bungee kits for the poncho for making a, a field expedient shelter. We have a lightweight space blanket and heavy duty garbage bags, and then a small foam sit pad. Also within that butt pack, we have a rifle cleaning kit, and we have my battery pack, which is my battery charger with the cords for charging, being able to charge everything in the field. Also a small camera for taking pictures of any movements or anything that needs to be notated for future reference. As we move on in the next water bottle pouch, I have a, another one liter um, European surplus water bottle along with the accompanying cup. In the outer pouch, I have a Sawyer Mini along with iodine tablets. Oh, I almost forgot. Also in the butt pack is wet wipes for cleaning yourself and some spare granola bars as well. And then also I have a GP pouch that I keep in the butt pack, which has a ferro rod. We have tape. We have a chem light, lighter wrapped in duct tape, a couple of fire starters, 25 feet of spare paracord, and then we have a headlamp that has both a red and a white light to it. And then we have a uh, face camo for, um, for the insertion and for our OP. In the grenade pouch that's next to the water bottle pouch, we have a signaling kit. In that kit, we have a signal mirror, uh, chem lights, whistle, and a signal panel. Next to that, in the rear ammo pouch, we have my night vision goggles and a spare cravat. Magazine pouch next to that, we have three more loaded AR magazines. And then and in the front grenade pouch, we have a pair of 10 by 25 binoculars. And then next to that, we have our blowout kit or trauma kit along or IFAC along with a tourniquet that's easily accessible. On my body, we have map and notepad right in the rain and then a small binder that has a smaller right in the rain notepad, a chem lights, a pencil. We have a couple markers in there, pen. We have a ruler. We have a salute card in there for reference. And that's it on that. And then obviously for armament, we have the AR rifle that has a single magazine in it, one by six LPVO and then uh, obviously a weapons light and then a, uh, a IR laser designator on it as well. So for what else is on my body, um, I am wearing a water resistant, um, windproof, highly breathable anorak that has the raid mod done to it. So we have bicep pockets as well for storing extra gear. We have a center kangaroo pouch. And in that kangaroo pouch, we have another signal panel in it. And then we also have some dummy corded items to include a whistle a whistle, Swiss Army knife, ferro rod with striker, and then a small red pen light to go with that. So that way all of that, if I have to E&E &E and that's all I have on me, then that's all I have on me. Um, underneath the top, I have a merino wool um, wicking top that's long sleeve. And then on my bottoms, then on my bottoms, I have a pair of multicam um, Pridex, I think it's the G3 bottoms with knee pads. And then in there I have a spare tourniquet and a and my boo-boo kit as well for um, you know basic first aid items there. And I think that is all that I have. Um, oh, and then um, around my neck I have a compass with this is the Silva Ranger. And then that has a mirror in it as well that you can use for signaling. So we have that. Trash Panda 6-Niner. Trash Panda 6-Niner. This is Bravo 1-3. Stand by for salute report. Over. Bravo 1-3. This is Trash Panda 6-Niner. Roger. Over. Trash Panda 6-Niner. This is Bravo 1-3. I am located at grid 86904875. Break. Sierra 
four-man dismounted fire team break. Alpha dismounted patrol northwest of my position break. Lima, 250 meters northwest of my position in grid 8680489R5, moving southeast, break. Uniform, DLF insurgents in mixed uniform, three in tan, one in black, break. Tango. Observed at zero three three one hours break. Echo one light machine gun, one AK variant, one SKS, one Mosin style bolt action rifle, equipped with Chicon chest rigs and soft headwear over. Bravo 1-3, this is Trash Panda 6-9er, Roger, out.